what is going on divine masculine it is scorpion red several i am back at it again yes indeed to let you know what is going on for mid-april the 15th through the 30th yes 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 shout out to all my strong and my long and my fine divine masculines shout out to all of you guys listen listen me all right <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I just came out of the Divine Feminine reading and I'm just laughing and I'm so nervous <laughs> to see what is going on with y'all. I'm so sorry because Divine Feminine energy be funny as hell. Listen, shout out to all my new subscribers, all right? If anyone wants to book a personal or private reading, you can do so by going to my About tab. There's a few hyperlinks there, okay? My booking is Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. Again, it's Scorpion Reds Tarot as Simply Book Me. I only do video readings. However, there is an add-on option to have a direct video upload to a private direct upload to YouTube. It's an extra $10. So make sure if you don't feel comfortable getting on the camera, I totally understand that. I can do a direct video upload for you. However, you will not be able to interact with me like a private reading, you know, like a video reading. But um, make sure you book your reading first. And if you want to do the add-on, you can purchase the add-on. Uh, and then after you finish your booking selection, what you need to do from there is choose a video platform, okay? Um, I use Google Hangouts or Instagram. So my Instagram link is in the About tab as well. So just go ahead and um, go to my Instagram page and send me a message to say, Hey, I'm so-and-so. I booked with you on this day, okay? And then we will link there on that day and time and we will do the reading, okay? And if you uh, don't have an Instagram and you want to use Google Hangouts, my email is scorpionreds at gmail.com, okay? And you can send me a message on that video platform and then we can take it from there if you would like to give a love donation you could feel free to do so i did just receive two of my three decks from mystic moon that i just purchased thanks to you guys's love and light and support to my page so we will be using this deck today actually all i want to say almost all of the decks that i have down here all of them are new that's number one all of them are new except for the sexual the um the deck of sexual magic or whatever um so because of you guys' love and support all of this shit this is new look this is new this is new this is new this is new this 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 and this and these decks one two three four four Five are all from Mystic Moon. All right, she is a reader on YouTube. You guys go check her out. Um, and y'all send her love, 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 light, and um, support. And tell her Scorpion Red sent you, okay? So let's get into the reading. All right, Father God, please give us guidance for the Divine Masculine for mid April the 15th through the 30th. Thank you so much, Father God, for just bringing us here to this point of illumination. I believe that we have taken the blindfold off and we can see everything that we can that we need to see to be what we need to be in the face of adversity. I feel like, you know, um Divine Masculine is facing some adversity right now and they are going through some tough things right now. But, you know, it's only as hard as you make it. And that's one thing I want you to understand, Divine Masculine, is only as hard as you make it. So, and God wouldn't put you through nothing that you couldn't handle and um, make you try to go through something that you wouldn't understand. So, it's all up to you, okay? So, please give Divine Masculine guidance. For me, April the 15th through the 30th, uh, thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Please give the Divine Masculine guidance. Alrighty, let's go. Let's see what's going on with the Divine Masculine for me, April. Thank you so much. 15th through the 30th, April 2019. Oh, my shuffling is a mess. Thank you. Please give me guidance for the divine masculine. Thank you so much. Arama. It says 
Wonderful Voyage, Crossing Deep Waters, Pilgrimage, The Journey of a Soul. Hmm. Let's see what the hell that got to say. Now, I'm going to have to pull out the damn book. I ain't feel like doing all that. Okay, I don't even know who Arma is. Who is Arma? Who is that girl? Divine Masculine, you about to go on a pilgrimage. Y'all about to leave something. I feel like y'all, listen, with this with this dolphin right here. Y'all Divine Masculine, that's why I say I ain't even listen. Oh, Lord, you guys are trying to be smart. Y'all trying to be quicker. You got to be a little quicker than that. Y'all trying to be smarter than the average bear out there, y'all, in that dolphin energy, okay? All right, we see what you're doing. <laughs> you trying to be smart. You trying to be the smartest motherfucker in the damn water navigating this shit, okay? You trying to be smarter. You trying to work smarter, not harder, okay? What is Divine Masculine into? Father, please give me any pull. No, this is, oh, that's Yim and Yah. No, this ain't Yim and Yah, baby. Mm, mm, mm. Let's see what this had to say, y'all. Okay? Y'all ready for this, ladies? Y'all ready for this, fellas? Okay? It says, Arama, you may have heard of the great legends of the of the stories of the Celtic people, uh, this world, Imorana. Embra oh, I can't read. Father, help me. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Third grade education, I keep trying to... Okay, you may have heard in the great legends and stories of the Celtic people, this world, Imrama, and the many islands and seas that must be crossed, of the ninth wave and the places that you can journey to. We come to sing to you for your own soul's voyage that must take place now and urge you to take our hands and swim with us, sail next to us, paddle alongside us, and we shall show you the way to navigate the great currents of the traverse of the world in the air of the world of the water. You have long divided yourself into parts your emotion your emotions you keep separate from your head on imrama the lines you have so clearly divided into will blur and you will at times no longer know what is real or unreal but all the while we will sing you onwards Call you forth so that you can follow the journey of your soul. Perhaps for sights that are wonders, cre creatures who defy your imagination, discovery of who you are. You will gather so much and expand in such of an awe that you will feel at times you may be dreaming. But you are not. You are embarking on an imrama. And all that you encounter is the unknown. Lands of strangers will teach you. And you will be akin to uh, Odysseys as he voyages. And you will discover that the mermaids are not those sirens of the mist, but navigators of the emotional underworld. Who will help you reach the other side extending yourself in feelings with the wind in your hair it says there will soon be a great voyage for you where you will travel over water to come to a place that your soul has long journeyed to there will be so much that is wonderful for you to explore and to come to know but you will be called on you will not stay in these places, for they are not home. But these places, your soul must taste to know more of the experience of life. The Imrama, or the pilgrimage over the water, is one that is watched over by the mermaids. And that one that we must all take during our lifetimes. You are now being asked to prepare, to save, to plan your travel, to purchase your tickets, and have your passport ready. You can plan all you like because this trip will ultimately be taking you. Be ready. This 
<laughs> will be a wonderful voyage and you will always be glad you listened and made this pilgrimage of the soul the mermaids will help you along your way and oh what beauties there shall be and yes for now it's the time for you to voyage forth and return only when your imrama your soul journey is complete <laughs> oh mg Divine Masculine about to go on a goddamn voyage to go sow his royal oats. <laughs> yeah. Oh, while I'm just hearing an um, what is that song? Some yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to get away. I wanna fly away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brada, Brada, why you wanna get away? <laughs> Brada, why you trying to be? Look, y'all know the dolphins are supposed to be like one of the wisest and one of the most smart creatures in the ocean. So you trying to be? <laughs> you are trying to figure out a way to go on your voyage, okay? Cause you in some deep waters right now. Oh, you in some emotional deep waters right now. And you trying to go on a pilgrimage a journey of soul. Okay? Okay? Cause you in some deep shit. And you ain't going some self-discovery ass shit. Cause you like, how the fuck do I keep getting myself in shit? Okay? I need to go somewhere and not just need to be by myself and discover. Okay? Is that what you saying, Divine Masculine? Divine Masculine. You want to run away? You want to get away? Divine masculine. All right, one more shot for him. All right, please give me guidance for divine masculine for me in April. What is this? The Queen of Swords. Oh, y'all trying to get away from the Queen of Swords? Bomba <laughs> Clyde. The Ace of Cups in Reverse, Lord Jesus. The Three of Cups. Oh, my gracious. Celebration in community. You trying to be in the community. You want to be some community pain again, okay? The Ace of Pentacles. You trying to make wise investments. <laughs> oh, you trying to take an M. Rama. You trying to go on a wonderful voyage the fuck away from this Gemini Libra or <laughs> Aquarius. Oh, this Queen of Wands, y'all. Oh, my gracious. Oh, holy moly. The King of Cups. Y'all look Cancer, Pisces, a Scorpio. What does it say? Strength. What does it say? The Four of Pentacles. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. What is this saying? The Six of Wands. Oh, there ain't no recognition of success. And it's seven of pinnacles. <laughs> Divine Masculine, what the fuck are y'all going through? That's why I said I was scared to do y'all goddamn reading, goddamn it. What the fuck? Y'all about to go on a pilgrimage the fuck away from this queen of... Mm, why is it when the funk hits the fan? Smell like chitlin and grits and ham. Trying to get funky. <laughs> funky, funky. When the funk hits the fan. Smell like chitlin and grits and ham. Trying to get funky. What was that, Steve Harvey? Steve Harvey and Cedric the Entertainer. <laughs> when the funk hits the fan. Smell like chitlin and grits and ham. <laughs> So you don't love this goddamn queen of swords no more. I feel like you feel like this this woman is a liar, okay? You feel like she's mentally manipulating, and you do not love her anymore. And you are trying to go on a pilgrimage, okay? A wonderful joyage, okay? Why am I? I'm here in Parliament Funk, and my like I feel like y'all want to get high as fuck and just go. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, what the fuck did this queen of, <laughs> what did this queen of swords do, bruh? Like, oh my God, sharp and assertive. Yeah, I feel like this woman is like, I feel like this woman wakes up. 
this woman wakes up and just wants to argue with you about shit. Like, this person finds shit to argue with you about. Like, every day. Every day. Every day, this bitch wake up bitching. She come home bitching. Okay? You feel like there's, like, this person bitch, but you don't feel like this motherfucker when you want to get the truth out of this person. This person don't tell you what the fuck you need to know. I feel like there's a lot of shit that you don't know. In regards to some shit with this queen of... Because you got to understand the swords are reverse. That's someone... Okay. So the queen is swords in the upright. This is almost like a female judge. You know what I'm saying? This is someone that someone comes to for truth, clarity, and wisdom. This is someone who searches for facts. And they base things off of logic and facts and evidence. There's something about this woman... The they they don't believe something. There's some they feel like this person lies a lot. Okay? There's a there's a lot of lies here. You know? There's a lot of lies. And for some reason, this divine masculine has felt out of love with this Gemini, okay, this Libra or this Aquar uh yeah, this Gemini, this Libra or Aquarius. Okay? They want to go out and celebrate off of Three of Cups. There might be a third party in the energy as well, okay? They want to go out and celebrate and be in the community and have fun. They want to go on a wonderful voyage, okay? They are in some deep waters right now. They want to go and get their goddamn emotions together, okay? Because exactly, what is this, the Ace of Pentacles? They want to make <laughs> wise investments, okay? And they don't feel like the situation with this um queen of... Swords is a wise investment, okay? They want a new beginning and something that is going to be, you know, worth their time and their effort, okay? Something that's going to grow. Mm hmm So, until they find that, you know, until, until they find... Something that is going to be solid, something that's going to grow, something that is going to show me the money. You see what I'm saying? Ace of Pentacles, show me the money. Like, they'd rather just be out and then celebrate and just be out in the streets and just have a good ass time. Like, right? I don't feel like, I feel like the Divine Masculine, I feel like they went through a lot and they're trying to go through a lot right now, getting away from this person right here, this Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So they they're not focused on love right now, especially not loving that person. They just want to be out. They just want to be out and celebrate, you know, and like probably reunite with a lot of people in the past that they don't, they haven't had a chance to like mix and mingle with and, you know, start, they want to start a new beginning for themselves. You know, they want to go on this voyage and, bas and basically this do investment is them investing in themselves going on this new voyage trying to find something new for themselves basically you know the king of what is this the king of cups you know emotional mastery they are learning how to control their emotions and not give emotionally to shit that is not a good investment to them basically like they rather go listen the King of Cups said, look, I'd rather go out there and just be some neighborhood dick right now and just enjoy myself because I ain't got no emotions to give to these bitches. Like, I'm just out here motherfucking swindling and having me a good-ass goddamn time. I'm just having me a good-ass motherfucking time, okay? Looking for me something solid and secure that's leading me into the future, okay? What is this here? The Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they let go of trying to hold on to something that was just a waste of time, a waste of a dime, and a waste of space. You know, something that wasn't going to grow. Whatever this is, whoever this is with this uh, Queen of Swords, that shit wasn't going to grow there. That shit was not going to grow. They just need to find some strength to get the fuck away from the motherfucker. Okay? Mm-hmm. They don't feel successful in this relationship. They don't feel recognized. They don't feel rewarded the way that they thought they were going to be they don't feel the love that they thought that they could feel that they were going to feel and or that they, they're not able to give the love they're not able to give the love <laughs> you know um they're trying to control their emotions and and how much they're giving to the situation okay they you know they like i said this harvest has overgrown like i feel like they might have waited and they might have waited and put time and investment in something. Like, they try to make 
a rose grow from concrete in this situation and that motherfucker didn't grow at all like they ended up getting a short ass harvest or whatever they invested they invested their time and their money into you know what i'm saying um and they're tired of waiting and you know they waited to end up getting some rotten ass pumpkins or some shit like that i feel like Whatever they were waiting and, and, and y'all were sitting there waiting and being patient, waiting for something to grow, waiting something to um, <laughs> turn out good for you. And you ended up getting some mashed ass, rotten ass pumpkins or some shit. You couldn't, something that you couldn't do nothing with. Like you can't do nothing with this shit. You know what I'm saying? And you're not wasting, you're not wasting no more time. Okay. It's nothing to reevaluate. It's nothing to work on. It's nothing to put effort into anymore. Like, you just decided to buy masculine feel like they want to leave. Okay? They didn't, things didn't work out the way that they thought it was. Okay? It wasn't being recognized and rewarded. And they're not seeing the success the way that they really thought that they would. And they don't love this person. Like, they, they just don't love this person. They don't have no love to give to this person. So, to... I don't know what else to tell you. They want to go on a, vo on a voyage. They want to go on a pilgrimage. A journey of the soul. They soul searching right now. They just want to be left alone. And they want to be spiritually guided right now. They just want spirit to guide them to where they need to be. And they're not giving their emotions to nobody right now. King of Cups. Very calculated. And very emotionally withdrawn. Like whatever the fuck they feeling on the inside. You would never know that shit. They stole face, poker faced out here. You know what I'm saying? They out here enjoying themselves. Trying to <laughs> listen. Be in some community dick right now. I'm girl them sugar. I'm here for everybody. You know my dick is for the world. <laughs> yeah. Success and growth. I know that's right. Dedicated effort. Okay would you. Okay. And there's how many people that you drawn in this picture? Okay. You ain't willing to dedicate no effort, but you damn sure trying to move. Embracing. You're embracing your darkest fears right now. Shit. You got to deal with it. And you choosing your battles right now. Listen, come on now, Father. Come on, Divine Masculine. You worried about successful success and growth. You ain't dedicating your effort in something that you don't feel like you should really root and ground yourself to. Your heart is telling you it's time to move. You are embracing all of the lessons and everything that spirit has been showing you like spirit like I told you you're going on your pilgrimage you're going on your journey right now spirit is in that boat a mermaid is guiding you because they know how to navigate these waters better than you spirit is helping to guide you right now and you're going on a pilgrimage because it's a journey of the soul you're going through self-discovery right now and right now you're having to uh, embrace you're having to embrace facing your darkest fear and choosing your battles right now you know it's learning how to choose your fucking battles Okay, and I feel like that's why the Divine Masculine is in that King of Cups uh, right now. He's like, uh-uh, I'm not. I feel like, like I said, this this Gemini Libra Aquarius wake up, come home, wanting to argue and fight with him and shit like that. And he's like, man, I'm choosing my battles. I don't even think that this motherfucker even talked to this bitch. Like, they trying to figure out how the fuck to get the hell away from this motherfucker. Now, they trying to find the strength to get away from this motherfucker. Any more guidance? Okay. Detached. They detached. They in control. They in control while they being taught right now. Mm. Let me get a sip of water, y'all. like he want people around and that's the thing he's being taught a lesson right now he don't want no goddamn uh, uh audience while spirit is teaching him a lesson right now he wanna he wanna be taught by himself he don't want an audience around him while he's going through the shit that he's going through you know what i'm saying he want to go through this shit alone 
He want to go through this shit alone. Divine Masculine, he's worrying about success and growth. All right? This is that third eye chakra, okay? Understanding and, and healing with personal losses and griefs. He's gone through a lot, okay? And that's why he's realizing that he needs to go through this personal pilgrimage, this journey. And he needs to go through this shit alone because he's not dedicating no effort into a situation that he know that he should not root himself to. Something tells him this Gemini, this Libra, this Aquarius woman, this queen of swords in reverse, that he should not dedicate... His effort to this, okay? For some reason, it's something is telling him to. This is not a a, a a a situation that you should invest your love in anymore. You better out just being out by yourself. Don't root yourself to this. Don't dedicate your effort in rooting yourself into this. This is red. This is your root chakra, okay? And then this is the authority. It's like you have the authority over your life, okay? You have to come to some understanding. And number eight is about analyzing things. You know, and the number eight symbolizes the eternity. You see what I'm saying? That eternity sign. So you have to come to ex some type of understanding and um, go through a spiritual growth and a spiritual journey right now. You need to analyze your situation because you are the one that has authority over what the fuck is going on. Okay? Okay. You have to get your chakras grounded. You know what I'm saying? You need to get grounded. And something just told <laughs> Divine Masculine, my mind is telling me. My mind is telling me no. But my body. <laughs> my body is telling me yes. <laughs> my body is telling me yes. I got to go forth. I got to go. Okay. My mind is telling me no. <laughs> It's time to move. <gasps> my body is telling me, yes, it's time to move. Okay? My mind is telling me it's time to do not, do not root myself and dedicate my effort to whatever this bullshit is with this queen of swords. Okay? It's time to move, baby. Protect your heart. It's time to move. All right? You might have to embrace your worstest fear right now. And in doing that, this is the throat chakra. You need to come to mental clarity. Mental clarity about your situation and communicate very, very effectively and efficiently what the fuck is going on in your brain. Don't leave nobody guessing. Okay? You going on your your voyage. You want to leave. You don't want to be rooted to the situation. Be a man about that and speak up and let that shit motherfucking be known. Don't be just keep. Don't, don't do that. Get your mind together and you need to figure it out. Because at the end of the day, your third eye is telling me that you need to move on and be successful. That you don't want to be rooted to the situation. You feel like you need to move. So move. Because you got to choose wisely. You know what I'm saying? You have to choose your battles and choose your wi uh, choose wisely. And, 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 and in choosing your battles, you, you decided to detach yourself from this situation. All right? You're having to move and embrace your darkest fears. And choose your battles and detach yourself from this situation with this Queen of Swords. Alright? This Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay? It's time for you to get control over your situation. It's time for you to get control over the situation. God is trying to teach you something. It ain't for everyone to sit here and watch and witness you getting your ass spanked right now. You know what I'm saying? No. No, you guys are going through a challenging time right now. This is number five. You're being taught a lesson. You're going through a challenge right now. You're going through change. You're learning how to adapt. You want freedom. That's what number five means. Also, it means freedom. And you're learning how, how to adapt and how to navigate these waters. You're going on a um, Imrama. Imrama. I'm sorry if I keep saying this shit right. You're going on a pilgrimage on a journey. Learning how to control these waters and stuff like that. So, since you are clearly breaking up, you are leaving a relationship. Because, the listen, doves represent peace. You want peace for some reason. Choosing your battles. Like, I feel like you're... Ooh, give me guidance in regards to what's going on in this relationship. The rebel deck. This is the relationship. This is the couple's edition. Rebel deck. All 
right? Because clearly this is a cup here. Okay? This king of cups and this queen of swords in reverse. Please give me guidance. It says we can't be all the things. Then it says block those bad vibes. Get hot and sweaty. That's a lot. A long time equals happiness. Together. Bury your fucking soul. Do the shit that they asked you to do forever ago. Alright, so let's put this shit together. Okay? So it says we can't be all things. You need to block bad vibes. You can't be all things to every motherfucking body. Okay? So I don't know what the hell this bitch be waking up arguing to you about. But Divine Masking is like, look, we can't be everything to everybody. I need to get these bad vibes the fuck out of. I, he tired of arguing and shit like that. Because shit be getting real hot and sweaty when y'all be in these goddamn, um, you know, <laughs> hot and heated arguments and shit. Shit be getting real tense. It be getting real hot and sweaty. And you need to block these bad vibes because shit be getting too intense. You know? A long time equals happiness together. You know what I'm saying? So you need to you need to get the fuck away. You know? You need to get your you need to get away and bury your soul. You know? Get away where you can really think about what the fuck is going on and what you're feeling and bury your soul to the universe. Okay? And do the shit that they asked you to do forever ago. It's something that the universe has been urging you to do forever ago that you have not been doing. You see what I'm saying? So let's see what this says in the reverse. Let's see what this is saying behind your back. It says, your ass needs some help. Ask for it. Hire it. Make it happen. All right? Your ass needs some help, Divine Masculine. All right, ask for it, hire it, make it happen. Your boundaries are trash. You need to set more boundaries with this goddamn queen of goddamn swords. Your boundaries are trash. Block those bad vibes with that bitch. Do you feel me? Work out and grow old as fuck together. Okay? So it's something, your boundaries are trash with this person, but you need to figure out how to work this out with this person and grow as old as fuck together. On the solo. Because it's telling you to go solo. Figure out your boundaries are trash with this person. Your boundaries are trash with this person. You need to figure out how to work it out with this person. And go solo. Do you feel what I'm saying? You need to set better boundaries. Find a better way to work this shit out with this person. With you going solo in this situation. All right, and you might need to hire some help, okay? Cause you gonna have to work out and grow old as fuck together, okay? Trust, share your crazy ass dreams, wishes, and passions. They're still waiting, okay? The universe wants you to like bear your soul to them and talk about your wildest dreams and your passions, cause they're still waiting, you know? They're still waiting for you to try to work on manifesting what it is that you really want to find masculine. And whoever this is that you're dealing with, this 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 queen of, uh, of swords, you need to set better boundaries with this person. Okay? Because you're going to have to grow old with this person. And y'all going to have to work things out with each other. You know? But you want to go solo. Clearly, you want to do your own thing. You know? And when you get in a safe place where you could go on this voyage and you go on this journey by yourself, you need to bear your soul to the universe because they're waiting for you to really get your mind clear and find out what it is that you really, 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 really want. You know what I'm saying? So that they can help you start manifesting and bringing and, and allowing you to taste these things along this. Because like they said... These places that you're going to be going is not meant for you to stay there. It's meant for you to go on this voyage to, to have an experience and, and, and taste these little experiences so you could kind of know what it is that you want. Okay? Hold on real quick, you guys.
right so let's get into the messages all right so let's find out this person this queen of uh swords here in reverse let's find out what this queen of swords is feeling towards the divine masculine whoever this uh person that the divine masculine is trying to take this voyage away from because they're leaving someone let's find out what's going on with that person what does that person have to say to the divine masculine i'm sorry i couldn't do right by you i wish i could take back the things i said i told you this person be like <laughs> this person like arguing a lot with the divine masculine and the divine masculine don't like all that shit. What does it say? Your beauty still moves me. I feel damaged. Like I just can't do this. Oh, really? Hmm. Why is that? Is this a lot? This is a lot. Okay, what does it say? Lying was just easier for me than telling you the truth. I told you that bitch was a liar. I feel safer in the silence and they're lying and they're not and not it's it's something that this person isn't telling the divine masculine and they're lying and they hope and, 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 and they feel like by not telling you certain things is better than lying. So they're already lying and they're holding back certain truths from you. No other compares to you. I should have been more honest with you about the way I was feeling at the time. Wow. Okay, so divine masculine, this lady that you're dealing with, she said, "I'm sorry that I, I'm sorry that I couldn't do right by you." Oh, so you done got fucked over, divine masculine. I wish I could take back the things I said. All right, your beauty, your beauty still moves me. So this lady is still very attracted to you, but I feel damaged, like I just couldn't do this. Oh, this woman went and did some sabotage ass shit. Okay. Lying was just easier for me than telling you the truth. I so didn't I tell y'all that <laughs> that Queen of Swords was a fucking liar? <laughs> it's safer in the silence. Why right now they're not talking to each other? They are not talking to each other, okay? But no one compares to you. Oh, okay. I should have been more honest with you about the way I was feeling at the time. Oh wow. 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 Hmm. Hmm. Let's find out what the Divine Masculine has to say to this woman that they are wanting to take a pilgrimage away from. Clearly that they want to go solo. What's going on? Why does the Divine Masculine feel about the person that they're with? This, this air sign, this uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen of swords in reverse or whoever it is that they're currently in the relationship with that they're trying to move from. How does divine masculine feel? It says, I keep comparing others to you. Wow. I just want you to be happy. There's still so many unsaid things between us. Damn. That's a smack in the fucking face. He comparing other people to you. I'm sorry I held myself back with you. Wow. It really was me, not you. Wow. Slim. One more for to go. One more for we go. Wow. What's this say? You still take my breath away. Oh, ain't that cute? They still think you're, you're cute, though. Oh. But they comparing you to other people. And they leaving away because they just want you to be happy. Whoever this person is that they date and they compare this person to other people, but they just want them to be happy. There are so many unsaid things between y'all. I'm sorry I held myself back with you. So the divine masculine really didn't give, like I said, the king of cups, like he didn't really give this person any emotional satisfaction. All right. It really was me, not you. You still take my breath away, but the Divine Masculine still thinks that this girl is beautiful, okay? Okay? Wow. So let's go. What 
the hell, man? You ain't gonna be comparing me to no other bitches. Y'all got me fucked over. <laughs> Y'all got me fucked up and fucked over. Okay? I'm reloaded. Alright, so let's figure out what's in. What's at the bottom of the deck? Bound. Bound. You two are bound to each other like Bobo Clatara. Oh. So let's find out what's going on with this person that is dealing with the Divine Masculine. How is this person feeling in this relationship with the Divine Masculine? Because it looks like the Divine Masculine is moving and about to go solo. Alright, how does this person mistake in the Divine Masculine feel? This person feels regret getting into this relationship with the Divine Masculine. Oh! Now, come on now. That's too damn much. You want you talking like that, mama? Okay. This is a lot, Slim. This half the fucking deck third part. Oh, shit, bitch. Oh. Mm. This person is in regret getting this relationship with the Divine Masculine, okay? Right now they're in solitude, so they're by themselves. And they see the Divine Masculine is taking action towards their Divine Feminine, alright? Right now they were unawakened, but they're wide awoke now, bitch. They should have never started fucking with the Divine Masculine last winter, alright? They were devoted to someone who put them in a third party, okay? Who wouldn't take off the mask, and this divine masculine still won't take off the goddamn mask, okay? The divine masculine is unawakened, okay? Did I say unawakened? Yeah, this is unawakened. Oh, divine masculine. This relationship is not ascending, excuse me. This relationship is not ascending, and, um, yeah, this person, yeah, the divine, they devoted their self last winter. They regret getting in this situation last winter or maybe the winter before last. The winter before last, okay? Not this winter. The winter before last, okay? Possibly. Or possibly this winter. Whichever. Ever. <laughs> anyway. So, they devoted their self to a third party situation. They devoted themselves in a third party situation and they regret that because they thought the divine masculine would take that mask off of them. Mm -mm. And they wouldn't, they, they, you know, this relationship never ascended. And that they're no longer contemplating. They're no longer contemplating about this no more because they need to be able to paint a perfect picture. Okay? Why my ass can't read these motherfucking cards? Let me read this shit all over. I'm sorry, y'all, because here go ascending. It don't matter. Y'all not awakened. Okay, so this is un um, awakening. Okay, so again, let me start all over, y'all. This bitch is in regret, okay? She by herself, okay? Divine masculine is taking action towards the divine feminine, and she knows it, okay? She was unawakened before, but now she is wide awake. When she got into this relationship, she was unawakened, okay? But now she's wide awake. She should have never gotten into this relationship. She should have never started dealing with this person in the winter. Whenever the winter was that they started, okay? They devoted themselves in a relationship where they know that they were the third party. Do you see what I'm saying? They knew. They thought the Divine Masculine would take their mask off for them, but they didn't, okay? They're still not. Awakening. This is them going through an awakening. This woman is still not awakening, okay? She's still trying to paint a perfect picture here, okay? But there's no need to contemplate. This relationship will never ascend. She's looking for a, co a commitment where there's a barrier. Do you see what I'm saying? She's not willing to face the abandonment, okay? She does not want to accept the fact that she has been abandoned. She's still in, she's still trying to for, uh, forgive the divine masculine and she's watching him, okay? She still, you know, this person still holds her heart in his hand. She's trying to mirror 
his energy right now and she's settling because she's a child and she doesn't know any better okay so i guess god really did want me to read that shit okay let's find out what's going on with the divine masculine how does divine masculine feel in love she's settling Release. Release. And focus on their material world. And focus on their money. They want their soulmate. They want their soulmate. They done seen the signs. They want their soulmate. They done seen everything that they needed to see. You know? They already release and go on that voyage. Focus on their money. And go on this voyage is going to lead them to their soulmate. They done seen the signs. And I think something done shook and woke up the bi masculine ass. Because they kept comparing. It didn't matter. They kept comparing this person to other people. This person just wasn't good enough. They're trying to be patient. The sign of leading them to be patient. The bi masculine feels like they go on this voyage and discover their self. This self discovery. They're going. It's going to lead them back to their soulmate. Okay? Their fresh start. They want a fresh start, but they know it's going to take a little bit more work in order to get that. The fall. Oh. Hmm. They would like to have a... They would like to have a fresh start with their soulmate by the fall. Because I feel like the fall is significant in their relationship. But they, they're they not able to come to their own conclusions about, I feel like if that person is going, if he, they're going to get the key back, you know. Yeah, if they, 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 they're not, they haven't come to the conclusion. Because I feel like the divine masculine might have lived with his divine feminine before and he had a key to that place. And he don't have that key no more. And he don't know if. If all of if he'll be received, you see what I'm saying? So, divine masculine is releasing this person. He's releasing this person. Clearly, as you see, he's going on a pilgrimage. He's focused on getting his money together, okay? Because he wants his soulmate back. Like literally, I can see him coming back. Like he's when he come back, he's gonna marry her. He's gonna marry her. He should never let her go in the first place. You see him? He's gonna marry her. This situation over here with this person opened his motherfucking eyes up. Okay? He's seen the signs. He's seen the signs. He had his soulmate. And now he's just being patient. Okay? He's being patient because he knows it's going to take a little bit of time for, you know, everything to get itself situated so that he can have his new fresh start with his soulmate again. But he's going to have it. He's going to have it. And he's hoping that it could come this fall. But at the same time, he don't know if, you know, that person will come to the right conclusion about him and give him his key back and, you know, receive all of his positive energy that he's trying to change. He don't know if this person will receive her, will receive him. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. All right. That was a lot going on for Missy Poo Poo. That was a lot going on for Missy Poo Poo Poo. Let's find out what's going on in the shadows with Missy Poo. What's going on in the shadows with Missy Poo Poo? Let me take a sip of some water real quick. Yes. What's going on in the, in the, in the shadows with Miss Settling? What's going on with Miss Third Party Settling? <laughs> what is going on? Ooh, she's guarding her brain right now. <laughs> What's going on with Missy Poo? She feel pitiful. Oh, do we now? Okay. Oh, wow. This is interesting. All right. So, Missy Poo is guarding her brain right now from the Divine Masculine, okay? She feels pitiful. I don't know what the fuck Divine Masculine is saying to her, but she feels repelled by him, okay? <laughs> Their relationship is stagnant as fuck, okay? She feels, 
she's trying to get over the feeling of feeling unlovable she feels unlovable like a deep rooted feeling of unlovable but she still lusts after this man but he doesn't love her she feels unlovable and she's trying to like overshadow that with lust she's trying to tempt him with that but he's walking away she's trying to regain her power back over this situation but he's unavailable to her all right and she feels like a coward in this situation what's going on in the shadows with divine masculine whoa He's, he feels like the situation with this woman that he's with is robotic and he don't want no robotic ass situation. He feels like it's robotic. He's not. Yeah. He's going a non-action route with this woman. He's not taking no action with her no more. He got us with a divine masculine. He feels empty inside in regards to this relationship. He feels empty. There's nothing there. What is this? This relationship was based off of superficial bullshit. It was based off of what each other could give to each other at the time. It was, it was based off of partying and bullshit. And he feels like this person be trying to manipulate him. Or that he was trying to manipulate her. And he's irresponsible. He don't want to be responsible in this situation. He feels like this person is insecure. And he's being guided right now to fuck away from this insecure person. Alright. This is disconnected. This person feels extremely disconnected from this person. Okay. Wow. Mm. My masculine feels like this woman be trying to manipulate him. Me trying to manipulate him. Let's get a rebel card for each one of them. Real quick. So give me a rebel card for Missy Poo Poo. Miss Settling Third Party. Give me a um a rebel card for Miss Settling Third Party. Give me a it says Do you really love them? Then wash and fold. And put away the clothes. Oh, shit. Oh, you a dirty bitch. It says, do you really love them? Go open up the door. That's your daddy. Hold on, y'all. Wow. It says, do you really love them? Then wash and fold and put away the clothes. So the divine masculine, though, because, listen... A true divine feminine take care of her man. He feel like you was childish. Like I told you, this one is... See, the teddy bear, you was childish. You ain't know how to be no woman. Mm-hmm. Divine masculine want to know if you really love them, like, you, you should have been handling your business. You should have been handling your business. You too busy trying to control him with lust. But he's like, bitch, can you wash these dishes? Can you take care of this house? Come on now. Give me guidance for the divine masculine. Okay. It says everyone could use a little fucking break. Just walk away. Everyone could use a little fucking break. Just walk away. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Zers. So, let's get a little clarification. Please give me some additional guidance in regard to Missy Poo Poo with the boo boo. Okay? They don't know how to wash the dishes. They don't know how to wash no clothes. I feel like whoever Divine Masculine was uh, dealing with before, his Divine Feminine, he ain't never had to worry about him walking around in no dirty clothes without him being properly fed, okay? He ain't never had to worry about nothing like that. And that was a big turn off for the Divine Masculine. Give us guidance in regards to Missy Poo Poo, okay? Eight of Wands. So she, she might be wanting to send a lot of communication right now. The Queen of Pentacles, she asserts herself as the Queen of Pentacles. She feels like she's the one that has the coin in this situation with him. Okay? But she's unbalanced. She has a lack of faith system. She don't have a good faith system. Alright? The Nine of Wands. It's like, she don't really want to fight with this person and battle with this person no more. But it's just a, like a, ever, a, for, a, a forever going battle with them. The Magician, she's trying to... 
manipulate and assert her power over him. Mm-hmm. Listen, she's communicating with him. It's a lot of communication going on in regards to money, okay? Because she's the queen of pentacles, and she has to take care of her house. And she's sending him a lot of communication because she's like, listen, you supposed to be kissing my feet and fucking paying bills over here. So I don't know where the fuck you're at, but um, yeah, you need to motherfucker come the fuck on back home. So there's a lot of rapid communication about her fucking money and about how bills is going to be paid and how shit is going to be taking care of this house. Okay? All right? You asking me about washing clothes and shit, nigga. Um, you supposed to be kissing my feet over here. That's how this woman feels. <laughs> Cause she's the one that got the coin. She's the one with the coin. She's the one with the stable foundation and shit like that. Okay. You supposed to be kissing my feet, motherfucker. Okay. You supposed to be kissing my own feet. This person is unbalanced and has a lack of faith system. Okay. And this person. <laughs> This person is 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 willing to continue to fight and fight and fight and fight and fight and fight and fight as long as they can manipulate you and regain power over you. They're going to continue this battle. They're going to continue this battle because they want you to be coming back and kissing their feet. They don't have no faith system. They don't have no balance, so they don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? They're willing to fight to the motherfucking death as long as they regain power. That magician. You see what I'm saying? I told you that power was right there anyway. What is this? The Hierophant. Okay? I feel like the Divine Masculine might be going to God for some... Listen. The Divine Masculine may be going to God trying to seek guidance about his ways. Okay? I feel like he, he feels himself... Uh, hmm, let me see. Because I don't know what type of Hierophant that is. Oh, really? Oh, okay. All right, you just drop it see like that. Go ahead and drop it. I'll read it. Y'all know I'll read it. I ain't got no problem. I'll read that whole deck out if you want me to. All right, so listen. The high five. I really do feel like the divine masculine right now is having to go get some guidance. Like spirit told him, like if you need to, go get some help. So they're going to go get some help. I feel like divine masculine might be going to get some type of counseling. Might be going to church or just maybe like an elder in their neighborhood. Because... Uh, <laughs> what type of elder Hierophant is this? They got two bitches, two naked bitches down there like that. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck type of Hierophant this is, but I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? They, they might be going to an elder for some type of help or whatever to control his lust for why he be having to have all these bitches all around him like that. And I don't know, maybe he, be, he might be going to like the Grand Pimp or some shit like that. Like he might be going to go see Magic Don Juan or something, get some education about this pimping or something. I don't know. I don't know. But listen... Divine Masculine, I feel like it's a burden for him. Like, he cannot overcome his desires to be out here fucking like this. Like, I feel like he always get caught with his pants down. And it's a burden on him because this is the Ten of Wands. This is a burden that he carries, like, always out here like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is his standard way of being. Like, this is him. You see what I'm saying? This is his, this is what governs him. He got two bitches at all times. You know, and it's a burden for him to not be out here with his dick in the street. You know, it's always about the penetration, who he's penetrating. And I feel like that is a burden on him and he need to go seek help about this. You know, I really do. Because he always be getting caught with his pants down. And that's like the true, that's the burden that he carries on his back trying to control his temptation. They go to Queen of Swords in reverse, all right? I feel like it's a burden because not only I feel like it's a burden because I feel like that he might have caught this queen of swords in a lie getting penetrated. <laughs> yes, I feel like this because he got this lying ass bitch again. And I also but I also feel like I'm saying the divine masculine, he be out there penetrating a whole bunch of bitches but I feel like this bitch got caught out there with her pants down too I really want to say that and I feel like that's what the fuck this bitch be lying about I want to say that that's what this bitch be lying about that's what this bitch be lying about cause this bitch is holding back something from him it's something that she holding on to 
It's something that she's holding on to that this motherfucker is not telling him about. And it's a burden on him. It's a burden and he's carrying this burden that this he's fucking with this bitch that don't tell him the truth and it's like holding back from him. And I feel like he feel like this bitch be stashing money too. So it might be possible that this bitch is getting money from him and stuff like that and this bitch be stashing money and he be having to get up in the middle of the night and checking this bitch bra me like where the fuck did my money go? Not only that but this bitch be lying to me and she holding back and keeping secrets from me. The um, page of pentacles. Yeah, the page of pentacles right now. Yes. You know, this person feels like this woman. This isn't a woman doing this. Divine masculine feels like he be having to drug her to get her money. <laughs> look, he, look, he going. Oh, my gosh. Like, he's waiting until she sleep. Going in her bra. And it's like he's drugging her to get her money. What the fuck is going on in here? Y'all, both of y'all is a fucking mess. Y'all need help for real. Y'all need help for real. You need help for why you always got to be fucking with two bitches. Because clearly she came into the situation as a third party. And she settled in that. You need to get help about that. Both of y'all got caught with y'all pants down. Okay? And that's the burden that y'all been carrying. Both of y'all are fucking whores. Alright? This bitch is a liar and ain't telling you the truth and keeping secrets back from you and stashing money from you. Alright? And you having to sneak in the middle of the night going her bra see if this bitch is stashing money. Whole time you drugging this bitch and manipulating this bitch to get her coin too so it don't matter like y'all both using each other. You sitting up there Focusing back and reminiscing to some shit in the motherfucking past. Figuring out why you got to emotionally give to the situation that you at. And you can't adequately do that if you focus on some shit in the goddamn past. Okay? Come on. The king of swords. Alright? You. You see this bitch looking at you. Parlaying. Doing whatever the fuck you want to do. You on some bachelor shit right now. Alright? And your bitch done seen you doing what you're doing or something like that. So... It's like you might as well just fess up and tell the truth about whatever it is because she done seen you. So you done found out about her and she done found out about you. Y'all done found out about each other. So this other bitch that you done with, your bitch done seen you, okay? Okay? So not only are you dwelling on some shit in the past, you got another bitch that you... <laughs> Listen, this is too messy. Two of swords, you need to figure out where the fuck you want to go. Okay? need to figure out where you want to go because clearly you're offering something somewhere else. And you want to walk away like the fool. Like you. Because <laughs> you're not happy in your current situation. You want to be celebrated and, and uh, acknowledged and fill on other booties. <laughs> what is this? You want your Queen of Cups. Why is Queen of Cups always come into this? The Chariot. You want to move forward successfully. You want to be with someone who is really going to nurture and protect you. And you want to be with someone who you're going to be celebrated by. Someone that you're going to get a lot of attention from. Okay? A lot of attention from. And it's going to let you feel on their booty a lot. You understand what I'm saying? And you feel like you get that from your queen of cups. Okay? And you want to move forward and go forth victoriously and vigorously. Okay? So like we said, you're moving. You're going on a voyage. Okay? This is the Five of Cups, all right? You're no longer sitting back, focusing and crying over spilled milk about a failed relationship in the past. You're turning around and you're facing towards the future, all right? You no longer want to be where you're at. You're leaving everything behind with this Eight of Cups. You are emotionally not even remotely, uh... You just don't want it. Like, whatever, the, with, you're leaving everything where it's at. Like, you are completely rejecting whoever you're with, okay? You don't want to be there. What is this? The Page of Cups. Like, yeah, you're not sending, like, you're block. I can see you blocking whatever messages. Like, whatever these messages that she's sending, you about to block this bitch, okay? The Two of Wands in reverse. And the Seven of Pentacles. Bitch. <laughs> oh my goodness I feel like you're just being delayed right now in your movement forward you're, you're being delayed right now in your movement forward because you're waiting on something you're waiting for your money to come through 
You're waiting for your money to come through. I hope this shit made sense, y'all. This shit is a fucking mess. Y'all relationship is a mess and it's toxic as shit, man. What the fuck? This bitch fucking around. You fucking around. This bitch is a liar. You're a fuck. Like, what the fuck, man? This shit is trash. Like, this whole relationship right here is trash. Please give me guidance a last Listen, that's why I said everyone can use a little fucking break. Both of y'all are very toxic towards each other. Towards each other. And you a scum ass bitch because like you came into the situation as a third party and you just settled there. And you thought this person was going to take the mask off of you? No, this person showed you who they was from the door. Like, ain't that funny you feeling pitiful in this situation now? You knew what the fuck you was getting into. This person is drugging you. I felt like, boy... The five of cups. Like, yeah, this person ain't trying to be dwelling over this. This, The four of cups. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Four of cups. Page of wands. <laughs> I'm about to send a kite out. What is this? The number 13. What the fuck does the number 13 mean? It's just like the death. Why? I never even seen this car before. I never seen this car and then the devil. Wow. What the fuck is this card? This look like the death card. I never even seen this card in the deck. This card hasn't came out yet. But uh, hold on. No, I ain't got time for that. Anyway, listen, y'all. Five of cups. Divine masculine ain't focused on this energy no more. It's spilled over. It's dead. It's gone. They turn around, focus on the future. All right. They already know um, whatever messages that this one over here is sending to them. They're rejecting it. They're more focused on. They're bored with the situation. They're more focused on something that's going to make them wake up and just, you know. And I also feel like the divine masculine is drinking a whole lot. I feel like the divine masculine is drinking a whole lot. This situation stresses them out. They're looking forward to the future and shit like that. They're just moving the fuck forward, okay? Page of Wands, all right? They're looking to... They're sending a lot of kites out. Like, I feel like divine masculine, like I told you, he's in the community. He's celebrating. Like, he's sending a lot of passionate messages out, possibly trying to fuck up bitches. This situation is dead to him. I honestly feel like that. And he's like, whatever type of addicted addictive attachment that y'all have with each other here where you know there's some type of y'all being bound to each other he's rebuking that shit he don't give a fuck about that shit he's not letting that shit hold him he's not letting that shit hold him but, but hold on real quick I just want to see something real quick uh uh hold on what is number 13 Yeah, number 13, that's the death card. Mm-hmm. That's the death card. Uh-huh. They're bringing, they're bringing an end into this addiction. I don't even know, but why wouldn't it not have the death card? Why would it not say death? Everything else says something. It's just a fucking skull. Just a fucking skull. And they might be sending a fucking message to a Scorpio. They might be sending a message to a Scorpio. They're sending a kite out, a passionate message to see if, you know, their ship going to sail back in towards this Scorpio. All right, so let's not go on, y'all. This is too much. I'm sorry, y'all. This is too fucking much. This is a cluster fuck of a fucking mess. I right, listen. I'm gonna pray for y'all because I can't do this no more. Good luck on your goddamn voyage, okay? On your fa fantastic voyage. I I don't know what else. Like this was a lot. Y'all tell me this wasn't a lot. This was a lot. I gotta go. Bye. <laughs>